Michael, right now you can see the construction and congestion here on I-85. Southbound lanes are moving slowly. Some people believe this lengthy stretch of construction zone in Cherokee County and Spartan Spartanburg County just isn't safe. Anytime I see another tragedy in this stretch of roadway, I feel compelled to speak out. Paul Hammock is a personal injury lawyer in the upstate. He took to Facebook today sharing his grave concern for the stretch of interstate after last night's crash. How unsafe it is. And that stretch has been going on for so long. And, uh, you know, they make the trucks ride in the left hand lane in certain portions. And it's an uneven surface. It's poorly lit at night. And um, it just is a hazard to the motoring public. The interstate is under construction, so it can be widened. The project stretches from mile marker 77 to 106. Last night, the crash happened near mile marker 88. We're told a semi rear-ended another semi that was stopped due to construction. The first tractor trailer then sideswiped two other cars. Sharon Alexander and Gary Parks died at the scene. Hammock would like to see officials add more measures for safety. The DOT could provide better lighting, better warning signage and, and clearer reflective roadways. SCDOT referred me to State Highway Patrol. Trooper Gary Miller said this about the stretch of interstate. It seems to be manageable if, you, if you're following the rules of the road. If you just look at what's going on with it, you know, lane shifts are plainly marked. You've got caution, you know, signage ahead. And this widening project started back in 2017 with a completion date of this year. SCDOT told me today the new anticipated completion date is late 2023. For now, live in Cherokee County, Nolan Blair, WYFF News 4.